Hi, this is Janet with Trite Like It Created, and I am here today with an SVG file for you to download for free, and I am working with Cut Cardstock Design Team. And so what I have here are the pieces that I have already cut out on uh, my Cricut Maker. So um, we have this decorative piece out of glitter cardstock that we're going to put on the top, and I'm going to set that off to the side. Now you'll notice that first off, we have two strips of paper. This thinner one is going to be the top of the box, and the larger one is the bottom of the box. And then you have two circles. Now the circles are just slightly different. And so what you can see here is that the larger circle is going to be the top of the box, and that goes onto the smaller sheet. Okay, so bigger circle, smaller line, smaller circle bigger strip okay so i'm going to take this big one and set it off to the side with the decorative top that's going to be glued onto it all right and the strip that goes with it then i'm going to take the larger strip and it has score lines on it and we are just going to fold away from the score line. Okay, and that's easy enough to fold those little tabs down. That's what's gonna hold it to the box bottom, okay? And it's gonna curve around, and this little tabbed piece gets glued together here. It probably doesn't even need to be scored, it just needs to get glued on there. All right, and then after we do that, then we will take these tabs and glue them onto the bottom of the box. If you don't like the look of that, you could um, insert this in and put the tabs on the bottom of the box. Entirely up to you. If you'd like to cut two of them out, then you could coat the top and the bottom. So, to begin with, we're just going to put glue on this tab here, and I'm going to be using a tacky glue. And so, I'm just going to, I may have to poke this to get it started here. Okay. I always have a pin handy just to, for situations like this. And so we're just going to put some glue on that tab, curl this around, and line it up on that score line. All right, and I'm just going to hold it there for a second, and then I'm going to see if I can find a little clip here to hold it in place. All right, so I am just going to be using a binder clip right on top there to hold that. All right, now we have our circular shape, all right, and I am actually going to drop this piece in here like so, um, and then coat the bottom later. So I'm going to reach inside here and put a little dollop of glue on each one of these tabs, and then I think I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock and cut out two more circles. One for the top of the box and one for the bottom. All right, so I have that, and those are all nicely inside. And then I drop that in to hold it in place, and I'm just pushing down to make sure I've got all of them attaching the top to the bottom all right so if we turn it over you can see those guys are there and if i need to um, help it along a little bit all i need to do is grab a scrap all right i have a scrap of paper here i'm gonna put some glue on it and those that aren't sticking down well, I'm just going to give them a little extra glue here. All 
turn it upside down and push. And that should fix our problem. Just a few more here that didn't get enough glue. looking pretty, pretty good. Alright, so this one's just popping out on me just a little bit here. I just want to, because I folded that tab. Alright, I think we're good and in fact I may put a, another piece in here just to secure that so it's not quite um, so folded. All right, so now for the top, we're gonna to do the same kind of thing here. We're going to fold these guys away from the scores. All right, and then we're gonna roll line up right on that score line, but I'm not gonna fold it this time. So that we have a really nice circular curve. All right, I'm going to line up and grab my binder clip and clip onto there. All right, and once again, I'm going to make sure that this fits in here nice and securely. Right, and so you can see what that's going to look like. And then we can see that it's going to fit on top of this piece. Okay, with the binder clip there, it's not going to work. So let me push this piece out. And let's go around again, adding glue inside. So I have put my box together just to make sure that everything fits before I go any further. Okay, so that's where we're at. And you can see the tabs are all on the outside of my box and the inside of the box looks nice and clean. So the next thing we're gonna do is put the top and the bottom up. So once again, we're gonna check those circles and 
we have one that's just a bit larger than the other one. And so that is going to be the top of our box. Okay. And so we're going to glue that down and put it in place here. And we're just going to add some tacky glue on top. And make sure we get all the way out to the outer edge. And then I'm going to take that scrap piece of paper oops, that I used for the gluing. And I am just going to use that to kind of push the glue around and make sure I have it in every place. And I want to go extra close to the outer edge, okay? So, I think we're gonna be good with that, and I'm just going to take the largest circle here, line it up, feel the edges with my fingers, and put that in place, and then I'm just gonna turn it upside down, take the bottom off for a minute, and push on that to make sure it has a really nice connection. And if there's anywhere that needs a little extra glue, we use our glue tip to get into those spaces. But I think if I just go around and push real close to the edge, you can see the glue just bubbling around the edge there, which is great, which means I have glue all the way to the edge. And that's what I'm looking for. Alright, so just double check it a few more places here. I want to make sure that that's seated on there really well. All right, and then I can use my glue bottle to kind of push down around those outer edges. Okay, so that looks nice and that's a lot sturdier now as well. All right, so now we're ready for the bottom. Doing the same thing, glue all the way around, make sure we get close to that edge. of my fingers make sure I have it in the right place before we go any further all right and then I'm going to reach in and push down I'm going to use my glue bottle to kind of help me out since this is a deeper part of the box again I'm just going to go around the edges here and with my fingers on the inside I am just going to push right along those edges there. And if I need to slide a little extra glue in there again. See if we need it or if this is just going to be a little seam here.
So I think we're in good shape there. And then all we need to do is glue our decorative piece that's going to go on top. And so once again, I'm just going to go around everything here. And I can see I have a little piece that I need to remove before we glue everything down. Now I want to put glue on every spot because I don't want this to lift up at all. Can you see the piece I need to remove? It's right here next to my glue bottle. we go all right now this piece is inset just a little bit so I'm gonna try to eyeball it get it in one shot all right there we are I really like the gold against the brown and if you really wanted to do more decoration you could have inked the top of the box um, and that would be you know showing through those areas there but I le really like the look here and this glue is going to dry clear so even though we have a little bit showing up here it's fine and it looks like I might need a little glue here I need a little more on my matrix paper to get it under there. Now this is just a double layer of copy paper. You could use cardstock. Um, I just picked something that was a waste paper to do this with, which is what I typically do is just grab something out of my waste bin. All right, now we put that together. And there we have it, our box is done.